What's good, YouTube world? It's Coffee back with some hip hop news, man. A lot of good topics and kicking things right off. We got Fat Joe going all the way in, just dissing the block out of Six Nine, man. I feel like Fat Joe, because you know he had—I forget was the Coco Vision podcast, right? And he has Six Nine on there way back before Six Nine even caught the case or anything. And uh, you know he was flucking with him, even though Six Nine was kind of on some other ish you know what i'm saying different type style and all that fat joe was very complimentary of uh i guess his success and the way he you know was determined to get in the game the way he went about uh getting to where he was fat joe was congratulatory and then i think you know this is just what coffee thinks as i'm about to let y'all know how he dissed the ish out of him i think he he's he's mad that that exists out there in the blogosphere you know that him rocking with 6ix9ine because uh in this new interview with math hoffa which i gotta go peep that asap because once again y'all like math hoffa i said this in a recent video his platform is just so dope like the content coming from over there is uh some of the best uh on youtube in the hip-hop space in my opinion comment and let me know if you guys agree but peep what joe said now this isn't everything this is just a clip but peepity he said this show's gonna get me in trouble i'm just gonna be honest with you this dude's a sucker he's pussy a sucker a bitch i ain't drink i'm dead sober this dude here this type of ish this dude's doing i'm convinced he wanna die and i don't wish it on him or nothing like that but i'm convinced he's miserable in his body he can't look in the mirror like he went in bro he he's flat out um yo he's miserable with himself he can't look in the mirror you know like oh he's trying to play it off to the world that uh you know he he's justified in what he did this that and the third and i need to hear from y'all on this because as i always tell you guys you know coffee's no gangster i'm a nerd i'm a square but joe went in there um but peep it six nine responded quick too like i guess he caught like tmz caught up with him somehow they they got word you know that this was out there that joe said this they're like oh we gotta find six nine this is gonna be big news and in a sense it kind of is but uh he said fat joe is jealous of six nine uh six nine has done more in his young career than fat joe has ever done in his long career fat joe said i was miserable and want to die fat joe is miserable and wants to die because fat joe doesn't have half of what six nine has in his money and cars and i gotta stop right there and say i believe that to be cap like six nine you got this lawsuit against you um we know like uh the 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 uh when he first came home it didn't do numbers the music that he dropped didn't do like and people always try to get on me about this but it didn't do the numbers it was supposed to and the way the contract was loaded like six nine i'm, I'm not saying he he's broke broke like he was trying to cry in that civil suit because he's trying to get out of paying people but six nine ain't doing good like that i think i don't know maybe i'm wrong but he said uh but yeah like fat joe been getting money for a long time in hell some people tell you he been uh you know jerking people out of their money as well i don't know if that's true but comment and let me know if you guys think that he said fat joe doesn't have half of what six nine has in money and cars fat joe said i'm not a gangster it was all for promo uh, i guess uh that as i stated uh joe what he said what i went over that wasn't all of it you gotta go peep the math half the jump off for the whole thing but uh he said six nine said it, admitted it was all for promo six nine says that's fake news what's his proof that i ever said that there's no proof he's lying but come on six nine like so now are you trying to say that you are a gangster like i don't know i can't call it uh but <laughs> let me know what you guys think about this like yeah, fat joe didn't pull no punches he straight up said yo he's a bitch he's pussy he, he got a death wish um i don't know man comment we don't see it like that often you know a lot of times people like try to go to pc route and everything but joe wasn't playing those games one of the craziest deals i turned down it was like two million dollars to dj for i think it was a michael jordan event and i turned it down and i never met michael jordan and you I, still never met I never, michael and i want to meet him well, if you don't mind me asking why would you turn that down 
Because I was doing some other shit. I had shit to do when I had way more customers before I get to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I never met Michael Jordan. I, I want to meet him, and I want to meet him on a different... I don't want to meet him on no... I'm out there DJing. I want to, like, meet him oh, as a man. Y'all heard Snoop um, talking about MJ there turning down DJ in that event. I'm surprised to hear Snoop hasn't met MJ. I don't know. You know, we always talk about what a big star Snoop is, whether you like him, you don't. I always put it the way I always put it is like your grandma knows Snoop Dogg, even if she hates hip hop or knows nothing about it. She knows Snoop like he been everywhere, rubbing shoulders with everybody, including Martha Stewart. But I guess he never ran into MJ. But um, I don't know that that had me cracking up, too. They were like, why are you turned down? He said, man, I had shit to do. I was busy. But um, he, he went on to say what which is not included in the clip that uh, he, he wants to meet him on some fan ish. Like the one dude was saying boss to boss. Snoop was like, no, nah, some fan ish. Like, yo, Mike, I respect you since North Carolina. Let's smoke a blunt, which I don't know why. I just feel like Mike don't smoke. I don't know. Maybe he does. Who knows? But uh, even as big of a star as uh, Snoop is, he's on some fan-ish when it comes to MJ. Next up, man, we just talked the other day about this uh, Elvis biopic coming out. Uh, just premiered at the Cannes Film Festival out there, and I believe it's France. Um, you know, I was asking y'all, do you guys think with the whole comparison and, the, you know, Elvis uh, being, uh, some people say he's uh, a culture vulture or a thief, and, and stuff like that like was it kind of not a smart move for M to get involved in this soundtrack there's this song the king and i is said to be the main theme of this project like it was odd to me that M decided to get involved in that way but i don't know who knows but anyways it's hitting the news that uh the the official song isn't out yet but just the snippet of the king and i featuring CeeLo green 3.8 million views it's just a couple hours, y'all. All right, so this is some major news to me. This is so dope to me. I'm excited for this, as I always share whenever he comes up in the news. Lloyd Banks, so dope. One of my favorites of all time, like flat out, you know? And, and I always hate that his career, like, I, it just, like, Banks is respected. Everyone respects the punchline king, right? But, um, I don't know, man. Like, I just feel like his career but it should have been so much bigger. And I hope that we see a resurgence. As you know, he dropped that album, The Course of the Inevitable, um, like, what, last year? Part two's coming out. It's due out this summer. And something interesting I didn't know also is that uh, he, did you guys know that Banks is in a super group with Vado and Dave East called the council. I had no idea this. I gotta check if they got anything out ASAP. But um, they're set to they're said to be featured on this upcoming project again coming out summer. But what's really interesting, Benny the Butcher, um, you see quoted this tweet about Banks asking the fans who they want to see on it, and he said, "Yo, we got to get, we gotta go back in, bro. We gotta get in the lab and uh and collab ASAP." So that's lit like i don't know you know and i've uh whenever the question has come up to where would banks fit in in the current state of hip-hop he's collabed with griselda and benny the butcher and stuff a couple times um like I, I feel like he would fit in good with them but if maybe not griselda how about black soprano family what do y'all think man i think that would be a good fit and also comment let me know if you're excited for some more benny and Banks and the new Banks project, that super group, comment about all that below. But something else that's interesting, I don't know if you guys seen King Crook is going to be battling disaster. Huge news. I got to make a video talking about that at some point. Uh, that Like King Crook did the no, no jumper and everything discussing it. But uh, they were mentioning of getting some other mainstream rappers or I guess is, is Banks still considered mainstream? I mean, he was at one point. But anyways, they were talking about trying to get Banks in the in the battle world. And I, I think he's perfect for it. That would be lit. Like, Banks, we need you. We need that. We need that uh, Banks battle. And then to close out the news here, uh, Rick Ross, uh, apparently his deal with Epic is done. He's a free agent. And he's saying he's getting all kinds of offers. Um, one of them being from Def Jam, his former label. Um, 
he's in no rush, I guess, to decide where he's going to go. Uh, but I don't know, man. He says, I think he said by the end of the year, he'll decide or whatever. But what do you guys think? Are you still excited for Rick Ross, Ross music like that anymore? Like, do you think he still had like, I feel like he doesn't have the momentum that he used to have anymore. And uh, MMG, too. I mean, MMG is pretty much dead, right? Meek's doing his thing with Jay-Z, which is like, what What happened with that Dream Chasers deal? Are, are y'all going to drop some, Or did you guys drop it and I missed it? Wale's off doing his own thing. Um, Gunplay's supposed to drop something soon as he's like changing up his whole style. But uh, I don't know, man. What do you guys think about this? Is, is Ross, you know, he's saying he's still a hot free agent on the market, which I could see that, but I just feel like the hype ain't there for, for Ross the way there was before. I'm not saying no one cares, but it just ain't the same. So to me, comment about all these topics. Banks, Benny, M, Elvis, uh, Snoop, MJ. Let's talk about it all below. Sub to the channel, hit the notification bell. I'll catch you guys on the next one is coffee daily videos, music, news, sports, and more. I'm out of here, guys. Peace.